Welcome to LUTV News In Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I'm Emily Sterling. Athletes say that it's hard to get on top, but it's even harder staying there. Well, the Lamar women's basketball team did just that. After their win against Stephen F. Austin, they clinched at least a share of the Southland title, making them back-to-back -back conference champions. I'm here with Jaden Pimentel, Chastity Bars, and Mo Kennard of the women's basketball team to discuss the moments leading to their title and what's next. Well, first off, congratulations to y'all on back-to-back -back conference champions. I mean, that's an incredible feat that not a lot of people do. So kind of tell me the moment y'all knew y'all had done that. Um, probably the SFA game, right, when um, second half, because, of course, the game was pretty neck, to neck and neck the first half, but we kind of created a lead the second half. We kind of knew, you know, we got this game, you know, clinched, so we already knew that we were going to become champions because, of course, we have McNeese next Saturday, but we felt like that was one of the bigger games, which was the SFA game. And speaking of the SFA game, it's that was y'all's first loss. Did y'all really have, like, changed your mindset after that game, or was it pretty much the same? Um, I just, we all just figured we had to be better than what we were the last game. Mm -hmm. So we did it as a team collectively this time, and then we won, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think we all, we, we knew that it came down to who wanted it more, and we definitely came in like we wanted it more. Mm -hmm. We were prepared. I think we knew their plays a little better than we did the first time. We were focused yeah. on scout and the practice coming up to the game. Um, we were a little more focused than. I guess that had made a big difference in the defensive end that Saturday. And you also have McNeese coming up. I mean, that's a big rivalry game. But you all still have the, I mean, you all are already the conference champions. Does that make you all play a little bit harder? Or what does uh, that do we, for you all? We can't let our foot off the gas. Yeah. We got to keep going. <laughs> Got yeah. a target on our backs. Mm -hmm. yep. The ultimate goal is to get to the tournament, the yeah. big tournament. So yeah. Yeah. we know we have to go down to Katie and handle business as well as on Saturday. And speaking of the tournament, uh, Y'all won the conference title last year, but ended up losing to Nichols in the semifinals. How do y'all change your mindset going into Katie this year? <laughs> no, you <wanna> start? <laughs> I think last year was enough fuel for us to go, go in this year, knowing that we got to take care of business. We got to mm -hmm. get it done this time. I yeah. want to go out like that. It's again. last year, so. Oh, we yeah, gotta go for hard sure. Go gotta go home, yeah. We so. know the feeling of that, too, knowing like we lost or. Thinking we're on top and then, you know, losing to a fourth seed or whatever is, you know, the feeling. So I think we're going to go in there more focused and determined to prove everybody wrong and I guess break the curse of Katie, as they say. So. Yeah. Yeah. And do, do y'all think there's a curse on Katie or something? <laughs> no. Nah. I think it's a curse within ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we beat ourselves just, when we, we beat, beat Katie. Ourselves up. Yeah. We got to go in there and know it's a neutral, you know, playing ground. And we got to go in there and play Lamar basketball for 40 minutes and win two games and make it all the way to the NCAA tournament. Yeah. And this is, this is y'all's, especially for you two, this is your last chance to do that. No, yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. my last time playing with them. So we got to <laughs> yeah. get it done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, how is that feeling for you? I mean, you won't get to play with them anymore. <laughs> no yeah. This. Yeah, that's why we got to get it done this year. <laughs> we got to get it done. Yeah, but I'm definitely going to miss playing with them. It's been a good experience for, for the past two years. So you got to get it done this year. Right, for yeah, me. you're basically taking over their leadership role. <laughs> yep. That was uh -oh. show. For real. Uh -oh. For real. Big, big, yep. <laughs> Put on my big boy pants. <laughs> <laughs> big Not girl big boy pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> and, I mean, you already have two titles, and you're, this is your second year, so you could easily do this all the way through your mm -hmm. time here at Lamar. Yeah. Well, I got them. I know I, the team got my back, so we go. Like I said, we just got to get it done. <laughs> We got to and got to. say y'all do win the conference tournament, which uh, I'm sure y'all have a great chance of doing that. You go to the NCAA tournament. Talk about a little bit what what's that going to be like? I mean, that's the biggest stage you can get to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think we um, it'll be a great experience. I think for us as a team, um, I've heard about it. We haven't been, but like I said, I've heard about it. Um, we've heard about it from coaches and stuff like that that do go. And I think it's something that we do want to experience, and it's going to take like hard work to get there. Um, we played on bigger stages, like we take a and for example. We played on a big stage there, and we were able to, you know, overcome adversity and get that win. So I think we'll be fine. We're going to go out there and play hard no matter who we play. So I think the experience is, like, what I'm looking forward to, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A big stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nothing different, though. Like, we played, like she said, we played big schools, but mm -hmm. we just got to show up. Yeah, one of the hardest up. schedules in our conference so we're used to playing in front of you know millions of thousands of people and having to play in that big atmosphere so I think we'll be all right if anything. 
And y'all's RPI jumped majorly after that mm -hmm. win against SFA. So, and like you said, y'all went out and played teams like A and M, and we managed to beat them. I mean, kind of tell me a little bit about that moment. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that you was know, a good feeling. It was. Man. It was. It was a tough, tough game. It was a fight. Mm -hmm. I think we done. went to that game thinking we can beat them, which was why we were say able to, you know stay with them the whole game and, you know, lead them at points of the game. I think that's why we already had in our mind, you know, we're capable of beating this team, so why not go out here and play our hardest and see what's up? So, yeah. turned out yeah. we won. So, I mean, that was, <laughs> it was big for our school. Yeah. We make teams play, like, faster than what they want to play, so. Mm -hmm. And that's what helped. A&M's coach definitely came in and said that was that was their game. I mean, they came out and played their their kind of basketball and never let off the gas. And is that is that what y'all kind of try to do every game? Every game. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. Basically. Yes. And y'all rake up some of great accolades. I mean, you're reigning uh, freshman of the year, defender of the year. I mean, most all conference. It's just. Uh, y'all and y'all both are holding NCAA records. I mean, tell me a little. You, yours came first, so tell me a little bit about that moment for you. I, I didn't even know. Like <laughs> I, <laughs> I was just, I just wanted to win at that point. Like I wouldn't even worry about the score. I didn't worry about no points. I just wanted to get the dub. Mm -hmm. um, when I found out, I just, I was like, what? Like stop lying. Like y'all, I didn't, like I didn't believe it. And then I was like, well, I'm gonna try to break it again. But that <laughs> that's too hard to break. <laughs> that is hard. Um, well, I definitely expect a lot out of y'all, and I'm sure everybody else does, but y'all always come in and do what y'all need to do and always let your fans know, like, y'all are appreciated and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. thank you for joining us today, and thank you for watching LUTV News In Focus. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.